It took more than two years of contentious negotiations between the UK and the EU to come to terms on a Brexit deal. Now, Brussels is threatening to sue Downing Street for eroding the agreement, which European leaders thought was set in stone. The Commission has decided to send a letter of formal notice to the UK government. This is the first step in an infringement procedure. The legal action is in response to the Internal Market Bill, which was passed by the UK's House of Commons this week. Eyes have it. The eyes have it. Unlock. If it passes the House of Lords, it'll give ministers the power to rewrite sections of the withdrawal agreement concerning state aid and trade across the sensitive Irish border. This draft bill is, uh, by its very nature, a breach of the obligation of good faith laid down in the withdrawal agreement. Moreover, if adopted as is, it will be in full contradiction to the protocol of Ireland, Northern Ireland. EU leaders have given Prime Minister Boris Johnson's government a month to address these issues or face hefty fines. The dispute could further complicate ongoing trade talks. Britain left the EU in January, but it'll remain part of the bloc's single market and customs union until the end of the year. Discussions on a future trade deal have stalled on subsidies, fishing rights, and dispute resolution mechanisms. Differences, of course, still remain, but we are committed to working hard to reach agreement within the time frame that the Prime Minister has set out. The UK wants a trade deal by October the 15th, while the EU says an agreement must be reached by early November to give member states time to approve the terms before the transition period ends. Any later than that means the UK could enter the new year facing a hard Brexit that officials have worked for years to avoid. Paulo Montesilio, TRT World. Well, for more, let's go to our correspondent, Jack Parrick, who's been following the story in Brussels. Welcome back to the program, Jack. Now, you've been there following word for word what Ursula von der Leyen has been saying. Can you just tell us more about why the European Commission has launched these legal proceedings against the UK? Well, to be honest with you, it's mostly a formality. They said to the United Kingdom that if they didn't provide them the details by the sort of turn of the day yesterday to today, then they would have to launch some sort of mechanism. And that's why they've launched these infringement proceedings. It's basically a request to the UK to explain why they haven't sent those, uh, the information about this internal market bill and what they intend to do with it. It could theoretically end up in a court at the end of this, but it would take many, many, many months. And the European Commission knows that. It knows that this, won't, this dispute, rec this uh, infringement proceeding will not come to pass before the end of the year, which is the end of the Brexit transition period, before which a trade deal needs to be in place between the EU and the UK if there is to be a, a, a deal in place it, uh, to avoid the no deal scenario that everybody is so worried about. OK, so take us back to basics, because we know it's come to this point because of the UK government's controversial internal market bill. Now, Boris Johnson's government says they need this bill in order to allow a, a free flow of trade between UK nations, uh, England, uh, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. Uh, the EU says it'll go against the agreements. So who's in the right and who's in the wrong here? Well, essentially what the UK government is proposing with this internal market bill is that they will avoid parts of the withdrawal agreement, the specific Northern Ireland protocol, which means that there is EU oversight of trade coming from the Republic of Ireland into Northern Ireland and from Northern Ireland then on to the rest of the United Kingdom. This is a specific part of the, 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 the agreement, that withdrawal agreement. And essentially what the UK government says is that they need this bill in place so that if there is no deal at the end of the transition period, that it would protect the UK's single internal market. 
From a European Commission point of view, this backtracks, and from an EU point of view, it backtracks on the agreement that they made to make sure that there was no hard border on the island of Ireland by allowing EU checks on trade and goods going into Northern Ireland from the Republic of Ireland that were then destined, destined for the rest of the United Kingdom. The UK government itself admitted that it breaks the withdrawal agreement in a limited and specific way, they said. But the European Commission simply won't be able to allow that. It is important to remember that this is all currently theoretical at the moment. There is no concern about the actual goods crossing that border at the moment. It would be post, well, post the end of this year. At the moment, the if there's a trade deal, all of this could be resolved. And I think that there's an element of this putting pressure on the e European Union, the e EU then putting a bit of pressure back on the UK government side. You might remember that just about a couple of months before, about four months, about at the same time now before the Brexit withdrawal agreement was signed, the EU launched an infringement procedure against the United Kingdom for not appointing a new European commissioner. Very similar set of affairs. They knew it would never come to fruition, but they went through the motions as the, the pressure ramped up to get a deal. And all of this is happening, as you say, with the backdrop of trade negotiations happening between the two sides. Uh, the UK and the EU have until the end of the year before the Brexit transition period ends to come up with some sort of a deal. Can you bring us up to speed on how those negotiations are going? Well, they've been going pretty terribly up until this point, especially the last few rounds. It looks like there's been very little progress, both sides saying that it really is at loggerheads at the moment. The main issues are over EU concerns that UK public money will be used to finance private companies that will then outcompete EU companies in the EU's market. Another is over fisheries, how the fish are sold, where the fishing areas are allowed to be. And at the moment, it's a really, really tough sticking point. But it does look like perhaps there could be some uh, scope for some of these edges, the red lines, the sharp edges, to be slightly taken off this. Perhaps with this internal market bill, the pressure might be off the negotiators while the leaders talk about this and the negotiators might be able to get something done. Brussels is nothing if not a, a fudge shop. They always manage to get some kind of an agreement. Pressure ramps up. So deals get done. They might not always be the ones that people want to do, but Brussels will be very much hoping that it can manage to kowtow and cur curtail the UK's ambitions and manage to get some, some kind of deal. But it has to be done probably by the end of this month because it needs to be ratified by the relevant parliaments around Europe so that it can come into place uh, come the end of the year. Mm, time really is ticking, isn't it? Jack Parrick, thank you so much for that update from Brussels.